Good morning, wee stars. It's Sheila here again. Nice to be able to speak to you again and to bring you the story today. I guess some of you will be back at school now, a nursery, and you'll be seeing your friends and your school teachers, and I'm sure you'll be glad to be back. Although we did see some very nice pictures of you in the snow when you were having fun. But we have to get back to normal and back to school again. Today, our story today is about a picnic. I'm going to tell you about a picnic, but it's a very different picnic from the picnic that you would have with your mummies and daddies. But I've got my picnic here with me today. It's lovely to go on a picnic and as the weather gets better we'll be able to do that. We'll be able to go to the seaside or the, or the park or for a long walk and enjoy a picnic in the open air. But maybe not quite yet, but we're getting there. Well, I've got my picnic here today. I've got my juice. And I have got a sandwich, a sandwich with cheese on it. I love cheese sandwiches. So we've got cheese sandwich and we've got a packet of quavers and uh, an orange. And for a special treat, the mummies and daddies don't always like it, a chocolate biscuit. That's my picnic and I would like to enjoy that, but it's a bit cold outside today to enjoy it. But today we've got a story in the Bible about a picnic, a very big picnic, a picnic that Jesus had long, long ago. Jesus and his disciples got very tired and they were very, very tired and they were wanting somewhere to go and have a rest. But people always followed Jesus wherever he went and it was very difficult. So they found a boat and they climbed into the boat and there's the picture of them in their boat where they thought they could rest and have a little sleep. But still the crowds followed them and many, many people walked along the shore following this little boat. So when they got to the other end of the, sh of the, of the sea, they, they got out of the boat and Jesus went to speak to the people. And there were over 5,000 people there. And that's an awful lot of people, 5,000 people. Jesus was very tired. But Jesus loved people and he always wanted to do his best for them. So he wanted to help them. And he climbed out of the boat and he spoke to them and he began to bless them and he healed people and he prayed for them. And this went on all day. And later in the day, the disciples were getting a bit, they were hungry. They were getting a bit fed up of all this. So they said to Jesus, it's getting late and these people really should go home and eat. And Jesus said, don't worry, we'll feed them. See if anybody's got any food to share. So they asked around and the disciples found one little boy. And this little boy, and there's a picture there of the little boy going to the disciples. This little boy had a little basket and in his basket he had bread and fish. He had five loaves and two small fish. Now there's the size of the fish. I've got my fish here. I've only got one fish, but there's my fish. And that would probably be the size of a loaf of bread, which is like a roll that we have. So he had five loaves and two small fish, and that was all he had. And there were 5,000 people there. How was that going to get around all these people? How were all these people going to be fed? Jesus said, you will see. Ask the people to sit down. So the people all sat down and he took the bread and he gave thanks to God. Then when they looked round, there was loads and loads of bread and fish. And the disciples were so surprised. So they went round and they were able to give bread and fish to everybody. But not only that, there were 12 baskets left over. Can you imagine? Five loaves, two fish, 5,000 people, a lot, a lot of people, and 12 baskets left over. Wasn't that amazing? But that's Jesus. Jesus can do things that nobody else can do because he loves us and he wants to help us. 
And we have to remember that Jesus is with us and that he helps us and that he can give us things when we ask for them. And so we just pray that he will continue to be with us and that we will know that Jesus is with us day by day and will remember the things that he does or did and the miracles that he did. And we will just ask for Jesus' help when we need it. I hope you manage to have some picnics this summer and can have fun in the sunshine. Shall we just pray before we finish? Close your eyes and pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you're always with us. Thank you for the story of the loaves and the fishes and how Jesus fed all these people. Thank you that we have food every day. And we pray for boys and girls who don't have food, that you will provide for them. Bless us at school and in all we do, in our homes and our families, and be with us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye. See you again soon and have good time at school.